think that will intrigue you. A 19-year-old from Nakuru County is developing a robot that he hopes will assist Kenyan military officers in countering terrorism in conflict-prone areas and reducing the impact of casualties on the front lines. David Lawrence Kamau has been working on the craft for seven years now using locally available resources, hoping the idea will become a reality and promote the country's ICT sector. NTV's Ruth Samway visited his home and has this report. We visit David Lawrence Kamau at his home in Mzewanyama area of Nakuru County and find him in his temporary workshop working on his prototype robotic project. Meaning that we are making it very intelligent. The sole purpose of the robot that resembles a dog, he says, is to help the military officers disarm and detonate explosives set by enemies while on the battlefield. You know, a robot is a, it's a computer and computers are very accurate. So the chance of mistakes are very minimal compared to a human being uh, trying to deactivate that. So there's no, in the future, there's no need even to, to expose our, our soldiers to certain uh, hazards. If a machine is destroyed, it's very different from a person being killed. You know, a machine you can replace, but human life, no. So this is something that will save a lot of lives. I wonder what you were doing or could be doing at 14 years of age. But for David Lawrence, that's when he started making these robotic dogs, including this one that was made in 2021 using cloth hangers before he advanced to the sixth one, which was made recently using metallic parts. So he ni robot ya sita. Nimekuwa nikiunda kila mwaka niki develop according to the era saiso. Na pia nina advance to pole pole according to the resources that I have, because building a robot means you have to combine a city, a mechanics and electronics. I mambo zake za kuwa creative alianza kiwa mdogo. Mdogo kapsa, hata toye zake ya kiwa mdogo wakuwa nazitupa. Hata in fact, mi likuwa nazitupa kama ajui. Jiwa likuwa nazieka pamoja pamoja. Sasa hameendelea hivo, akiwa primary, akaanza kunda ndege, ya mbao, haka advance, akaanza ya machuma. Sasa akaendele hivyo mpaka wakati tumefika saizi hivi. Lakini tukua tununa tuka mani mchezo. Tukaanza sasa kumpea, kumpea support. He says the raw materials required to make the prototype is hard to come by, forcing him to make do with whatever materials are available at home. Oh, despite the challenges, who me nikona that self-belief that akuna no man is limited, so, ataka ni face financial challenge ya kupata specific gears. What do I do? Naenda natumia baisikeli. Kama ni kona challenge ya kupata certain computers. So, nizatumia tayi simu kadoga. In the skeleton. Lack of funds has become a major challenge for this budding scientist, a mountain that is faced by many creative minds. Even in Science Congress, to a lot of ideas. But some of them has ifiki the the target, because most are very good ideas. Then you maybe is neza kuwa onezona. Maybe it's not something technical, but once you prove your idea, it's not only to very much possible. The first year student of Thika Technical Institute believes that the diploma in electrical and electronic engineering will enable him to realize his dream. Because we learn about wires, we learn about uh, electrical connections. So it's something that will do me real good. Welcome. And while on this journey, David has managed to modify a software program that will control and communicate with the robot, but the project, he says, is far from completion. The software, I've downloaded it for now because I don't have a, a, a computer to actually do my ICT research, to actually be able to make one. But uh, putting in mind that the robot is a uh, three in one ICT, electronics and mechanics, I've been able to perfect on mechanics and part of electronics. So the ICT is where I'm still working on it. So these countries, Venezuela, Kunda, like United States of America, uh, Dubai, there's a certain building called the Museum of the Future. This museum has a lot of projects that are targeting the future. So this is the expected end result of the mechanical part. He is calling on the government to accommodate and support young scientists of his kind and boost the country's technological developments. Ruth Sarmoy, NTV, Nakuru.